Moshi Moshi my gamers and welcome back to Scarlet Nexus. Fubiki summoned Yuto and Yuto asks him about the episode experiment being conducted in Suo and Saren. Fubuki tells him that both sons are trying to develop a weapon against the others. Fubuki suggests using the Sea computer Akuba to transmit the memory of the moment Nob became another to all the citizens' minds. This will create doubts in the minds of the people and break the government control. Yuta decides to interface the old areas of hospital again to search the memory that should have been taken from Nagi during his personal reputation. A personal with Nagi suddenly attack Yuto group, but Yuto brain to the AFO again during the fight. He loses his memory, Yuto wakes up in the fatigue custody and discovers that he used to be a dud. He also learns that his brain is damaged each time he uses his power. He manages to escape with the help of Fubuki and his friends. Then Karin appears. He tells Yuta that he has been branded as a traitor by the government and invites him to join Sawin. Yuta refuses and Karin tells him about the illusion nation of Tegusum that has him even the government can't touch. Today we're doing Praise 8. Bong levels, huh? So, uh, with who? With the big guy? What about something else? What I? Oh yes, Hanabe! I'll do it with last. What about him? Oh no, you just heal chilling and all shit. Okay, let's start with the big guy because why not? There's a strong possibility that Nagi will attack again in the production. Yeah, sure, dude. Now, hand with you because why not? Hey, Gamma, are you free right now? Do you want to go somewhere with me again? <sighs> Gamma? I'm into KT! Hmm? Sorry, I was just thinking. Oh, Is something the matter? I'm here if you need to talk. Yeah, maybe I should talk to someone. One of my friends who retired from the OSF has gone missing. Are there any leads? I first learned about it when I got a message from his younger brother. We hadn't talked in a while. He asked me if I might have any ideas, but I couldn't give him any. I was just wondering what to do now. I can see why you're worried. Is there anything I can do? No, I can't trouble you with this. It's a personal problem. But I want to help. Why don't you just tell me what you can? It couldn't hurt. Hmm. Thank you. I'll take you up on that. The friend who went missing was an old classmate, and then we worked together in the same platoon when he was still in the OSF. But as the years went by, the anti-aging medication's effects weakened, and his body began to age. It's something all children of the state have to face eventually, but he reached his limit sooner than me. His powers waned as he aged, and fighting became too difficult. He retired this past spring. I see. I'm glad he managed to retire safely and not get hurt or die. Yeah, but children of the state face a tough situation after retirement. The body ages normally after they stop taking the medication. But the abuse their brains sustained over so long a time is significant. Many retired soldiers deal with various issues, stemming from their body's changes exacerbating their brain's fatigue. It's that tough for them? Can't they treat that with medication? I hear there are many who receive treatment, but it's not easily cured. If it becomes prolonged, it also affects the patient psychologically. Do you think your friend wasn't feeling well after retiring? Yeah, he was tired, physically and mentally. I tried my best to stay in touch after he left, but after a while he just kept asking me about the OSF and my missions. It seemed like he wanted to come back. He missed his old job after having trouble adjusting to retirement. I mean, he was with the OSF for decades after all. It's tough to instantly change your life. He never wanted to retire to begin with. Those who can no longer fight will never be able to return to the OSF. I decided to distance myself from him, so he can finally move on from the military and build a new life for himself. I didn't reply to his messages or meet up with him. Looking back now, it was probably too harsh. His brother said it was cold of me to cut off all contact like that. I can't blame his brother for saying that. It might be my fault he disappeared. Maybe I pushed him away when he needed me the most. You did it for your friend's sake. You can't blame yourself for that. For now, you should do what you can. Have you tried calling your friend? No, I haven't reached out to him yet. Then try messaging him. 
Even if you don't know where he is, it should reach him if he's safe. Maybe he's just waiting for you to contact him. <sighs> You're right. Waiting here won't get me anywhere. I'll take your advice and do whatever I can. <sighs> There's no reply. He might need time to notice the message. Let's wait a little longer to see if it reaches him. Or it reached him, but he's not planning to reply. <sighs> There's no way for us to know. Back when we were in the OSF together, we could easily brain talk with each other and had GPS to know our location. Yeah, that's not available since he retired. He has to go through the trouble of accessing a terminal. I can't really relate how inconvenient things are after you retire. But he must have been going through a lot. Yeah. Why don't you keep messaging him and wait to see what happens for now? I'll see if there's anything else we could do. I'm glad for your help. I'll let you know if I learn anything. Okay. Poor Gemma. I never really thought about what people do after they retire. Is there anything more I can do? I know. The OSF database could have information on Gemma's friend. <sighs> the data's locked. I guess that's not a surprise. <laughs> Wataru, you got a sec? Yo, what's up? There's an OSF matter I want you to look into whenever you're free. OSF? So, information that can't be found through official channels. Okay, send me the info. I'll look into it. Thanks, Wataru. I hope we find a lead on Gemma's friend. Oh, we're asking for help. I mean, that's not a bad idea. Gemma, have you gotten a little bigger? Hmm, have I? My training has been going well lately. Wow, did you have a change of heart or something? It's a little embarrassing, but I don't want you to get better than me. You can laugh at me for being a silly old man. <laughs> okay, what we got now? Um, you are moved to status and move while SS is activated. Using cold chalt plus F12 info enables a combo vision to which Gamma performs an attack that breaks shell. Oh hell yeah. I could do that. Okay, I got, I got a bucket? I'll be there to back you up. Don't let anything get in your way. It's comforting to hear you say that. Uh, speaking? Okay. I did get a text message. Uh, let's see. Uh, say message is inside. Uh, there's no reply. Can we talk so I can get my mind off it? Anything is fine. We'll play with you like this. So, anything is fine. Okay, that might be the logs of the purple song. I don't know if this is very well, but it's about to apply message not coming. So, they can't sleep. They can't. I oh, remember. I love song. Sorry, I wasn't trying to make a joke or anything. Lovely about being upset about feeling down, right? I don't understand the thing about it anymore. I guess also because it's, I'm getting old. I know that love isn't for me. Thanks. I love something. Um... Okay, so let's start, let's start from the top part first before I go to the bottom part. To all the members of the OSF, there was an office from the OSF Vision Simulator operating system. A new mission has been added to the Vision Simulator. You can use it to engage in light like combat training to preserve, increase your ability. If you wish to join the mission, please ask the Vision Simulator to use the device such as a TV. I have a dundles yet. I'll give you a little bit on both sides and to go see why you're about think about where you go next. To go see you, like Major General Carwin said, this religious nation located on Hero Mountains. Outsiders don't know much about what goes in there. The only thing that certain is that the freezing cold. Be ready for it if you plan to go. Sauron is on the other hand, is Major General Carwin's group's base of operation, meaning that you facilitate him as comrades. Knowing that they are researching those uppers and uh, weaponize others is just officially as so. I don't know if they can be trusted. The sea itself is known for being more peaceful than Sue. I don't know how peaceful we can call it since the revision though. Resisting. That's difficult. We can't trust them oh either. God. Either one. I don't, I do not like how much is unknown about just the Sue, but that does not mean it's much to learn. The event is uncertain is that we at least know who we are up against. I will leave the feathers to you, Yuto. Okay. Okay, so this is not a thing to do. We'll do the dude first. Um, hey you two, I just want to tell you something. Come to Basibu now. I'm trying to know I'm trying to ignore where we stand and start talking to you. We we'll listen to me if you want the good for you. The good is what's good for you. I know I sound like a broken record, but I don't keep you waiting. Okay, okay, okay. I'm come, yeah yeah, I got it. Yo. I go now. I said it before, but let's figure who Simon talk. I guess it doesn't really sing like you care about the side in. I'll be there soon. After we deal with this and then we'll talk to the chainsaw girl and then my girl Hanabi. You're late again, but it's fine. I forgive you. Thanks? Uh, thanks. So, what do you want? 
I have some things to say about the way you fight. The ass? The way I fight? Yeah. I've seen you fight many times, and you have a lot of wasted movement. You're no longer a cadet. If you want to call yourself an OSF soldier, don't just flounder around. On the battlefield, you need to always be reading your enemy's movements and consider your next move. Use your brain. I have? So he calls me here to criticize me? What the hell is he thinking? Oh, that's what he's saying. Fuck you! Hey, are you listening? I'm spending my precious time on you here. Hang on. I don't really know what's going on. Why did you want to talk? Because you helped me before, however slightly. I'm returning the favor by giving you some advice. Okay. That was advice? It sounded a lot like you were making fun of me. What? You can leave if you don't want my advice. Thought you'd want to get stronger. He's annoying, but he has been in the OSF longer than me. If he really wants to help, I guess I'll listen. All right, I'm all ears. A wise decision. You can't win without hard work. Though I'm sure that doesn't make sense to someone who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. I can't stop with the insults. I bet he doesn't have any friends. Eh. Back to the subject. I told you to read your enemy's movements, but it must be hard for an inexperienced rookie to do that. Instead of relying on hazy knowledge, it's better to work on reaction time and calm decision-making skills. I see. Unfortunately, you lack both right now. It's a miracle you're still alive. <coughs> was it incredibly good luck, or was it your teammates? If you don't want to die young, you need to get better. I listened to you, and all you did was insult me. You hate my guts. Any reason why? What? I go out of my way to help you, and you think that's an insult? Come on, that last bit was definitely an insult. Fine. I'll tell you if you really want to know. I haven't liked you since the first day I met you. Since I was scouted, I worked for years to get strong. I've been near death more times than I can count. How could I like someone who was born in the Sumeragi family and pampered his whole life? Who my family is doesn't matter. I'm my own person. No matter what you think of yourself, everyone else only sees the Sumeragi boy. That... that may be true, but... That's why everyone was prejudiced against me, even though I worked so hard. But if I say that, Shiden will have a field day with it. If you don't like it, you have to become strong enough to surpass your name. But if you can't listen to advice, it'll be impossible. The fact that a volunteer soldier like you made it into Captain Seto's platoon had to have been because of your family connections. Hmm. What? Another thing I hate is those dolls you guys collect. That little packin' or whatever. Why is he smiling? That's kind of creepy. cute about such a weird little thing? There are some things you just don't say. It's Baki, not Packin. Boys, peace. That's rude to Baki. What's with you anyway? You're just spewing insults now. What? You're the one who complained when I was just trying to give you advice. That wasn't advice. It was just nagging and insults. I've had enough. I'm out of here. Fine. What's with him? Did he actually think that was advice? It's like he's made of insults. Next time he calls me, I just won't show up. Okay, hopefully. Don't even text me. Good. Don't want to do that, asshole. Okay. So not Archie. Good news, you two. I finished building the program. I'll be at Misubi. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. What happened? No, no, no. Plus yes, plus yes. I was kind of used to it. Now I'm gonna wait to Misubi. I just came there with an asshole. Now you're there again. I've added new functions to version 1.1 of the Forced Break program. Okay. It's a system that teaches you simple relaxation methods when you enter rest mode. Now give it a try. I didn't come here to test this, Arashi. Why don't you quit developing this program? You came all the way here to tell me that? What a waste of time. You should have just refused when I invited you. No, I think it's important for me to tell you this. Hmm. 
I'm all ears for your elegant speech, oh great one. It's not like that. I just don't know about forcing a break through a program. There are easier ways to help people relax. You could offer to listen to their problems or give them some advice. I see. We'll have to explore those options. Why don't you tell me about your problems then, Yui Tef? Um. <laughs> I'm taking your suggestion. You have a lot of pent up feelings because of all this hard work you're doing, right? So, out with it. I don't know where to start. Like my family and brother? Chief Sumeragi? That's a bit of a touchy issue. Yeah. I had no idea he was involved in something like that. He even set me up as a traitor. My dad didn't tell me anything either. I understand your confusion. Although I can understand why the Chief did what he did. Does that mean you approve of their methods? I didn't say that. I don't endorse them or forgive what they did. However, the way they're willing to sacrifice their own family if necessary is something I can see myself doing. Would you be able to do that to Major General Fubuki? Um. You could sacrifice your own brother depending on the situation? I would, but he wouldn't be able to make the same decision. For better or worse, he's still a child. You two are similar in that way. What's that supposed to mean? Children think they can save everyone, but that's not how reality works. There will always be something that needs to be sacrificed. Grown-ups have to figure out the line to draw on what to give up. I think you hate being that kind of grown-up. <laughs> Is that so? Well, you might be right. If I stayed a kid, I might be happier thinking I could do anything. Being able to selfishly slack off whenever I want is something a grown-up gets to do. Pretty cool, right? I guess. No, grown-ups shouldn't slack off. You really are so much like him. Oh my god, you're funny. The book out the film was get pawn hole, so not nothing to do. Do you have anything else to talk about? The Ashi support just is up for business. I suppose you asked for work, Ashi. Could you take a look at the place in front of the SCS I had just to make sure it's okay? Having a serious chunk of the up on me. I'm thinking I'll work a little harder. Oh, I see the world I was buying some time. The Ashi is the person to close with. I saw him next time. Yo, Wildo. Oh, it was my favorite. Okay, now we go to my girl. So, first you're here. Then you're a fucking trainer? You might be fine with that user, but I'm not. I'm not, I know, honey. Dad, she's pissed look at that face. <sighs> you okay? What's the matter, Hanabi? Why are you sighing? Did something happen? Uh, sit next to her. Oh, Yuito. No, it's nothing. Come on, you can tell me. We've known each other since we were kids. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. <laughs> so, the other day when I was battling an other, I accidentally burned a building that was nearby, and Gemma scolded me. He said that my control of my powers was rough, and I'd eventually end up hurting those I need to protect. He doesn't mince words. He's right, though. What I do wasn't you mean? paying enough attention. Gemma asked me what I wanted to be as a member of the OSF, and to think hard about what I'm fighting for. Fighting the for thing me? Is, I still can't picture what I want to strive for. What's that face? Right. You did mention that you never thought about what you wanted to do in the OSF. Yeah. And the things we've seen since joining, you know, the suspicious secrets and the inhumane experiments, just awful things that ruined that image I had of the OSF as a kid. That's true. After finding out that the organization we're in caused a lot of suffering to so many people, I can't picture anything positive when someone asks me what I want to fight for as a member of the OSF. I understand that feeling of disappointment. Finding out this isn't the organization you thought it was, but you're the one who's out there fighting. You just need to figure out what you're fighting for as an individual, not as part of the OSF. My reason for fighting... I'm not sure if I have one. I bet you'll come up with something if you think about it. I mean, if there's no reason, then why have you been fighting by my side all this time? It's because you... I what? Uh? It's nothing. I'll try thinking about it some more. Oh, come on! Okay, 
but there's no rush. I'm always here if you want to talk. I thought she was going to say, because I love you! I like me to doubt myself like this. Feeling sad won't change anything. All right. I'm going to find a reason to fight. Yeah, that's the spirit. Thanks for cheering me up. You were always cheering me up when we were kids. So it's my turn now. You don't owe me anything. But I'm happy to hear you say that. Thanks for listening. Sure. Just let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Don't worry. I will. <laughs> I just know she loves us. She's trying this to hide it. This might not come out right. But it's more fun living in the unit than I thought. It's a little inconvenient though. Yeah, but everyone in our platoon is nice. And I'm always with you. I hope oh, we can yes. keep fighting together. Being with you makes me feel... safe. Oh! It's a sign that she loves me! Attacked in the urge in the unguarded enemy in the Hopper Call Callout. As it without V, we should appear as a vision and perform a special attack. <gasps> special attack? Ooh, special attack. Got Gordon Brown Dollar as presence for Hopper Hockey. Gordon and Hoppy. Maybe it's time to move beyond being childhood friends. What? I'm nothing! Why are you anxious? I like that we're childhood friends. Oh my gosh, she's trying to hide the fact that she loves us. I know you love us. And look at her background. Damn, she all this sports stuff for anything. Okay, anyways, um, let's let's stop with this here and then let's just. I'm tired. I should rest a while. Yeah, as I was saying, let's okay. Let's focus on our next step. You guys have a minute? We need to talk about what we should do next. We were talking about either going to Togetsu or Seiron. I'll say Seiron. Yeah. But I don't think there's much difference between Seiron and New Himuka. Especially when I think about those ampules. That's why I'm thinking about reaching out to Togetsu. Huh? <gasps> Will you turn out the gold Does that mean our only option is defecting to Togetsu? No, we're not just going to be running away. I have no idea what kind of place it is, after all. All I know is that it's an independent religious state, and that they may have information Suo and Seiron don't. Unlike my father and brother, I've grown up not knowing what this government, what this country is really like. Mm -hmm. Even now, there's probably more I don't know about this place than I do. That's why I want to find out. I just want to do whatever gives us the best chance to learn something new. What do you guys think? I agree. The hideout might be safe, but nothing would change if we just sat here and held our breath. Besides, Togetsu's isolation means a lower chance of being attacked by Suo or Kasane on Seiron's behalf. Mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of place it is, but it might be worth checking out. I don't mean to make this a case of process of elimination, but I doubt we can get any more information from Suo or Seiron. Besides, as someone looking to uncover this country's secrets, I'm intrigued by Togetsu. It might also give me a chance to learn my brother's true intentions. Yes. Actually, there is something I remember about Togetsu. A while back ago, my uncle had mentioned about a deal he had made with them for work. You mean, the OSF hospital? Yeah. Even though it's an independent city, they apparently have normal business transactions. What is it that they were dealing? I think he said food and medical supplies, although I'm not sure if it's still going on to this day. Yeah, we don't know. It's likely that there's more to the deal than that. If the OSF hospital is involved, it will surely be connected to power research or metamorphosis technology. Is it just me, or does Togetsu seem a little fishy? We have to accept a certain level of danger. As they say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Yeah, no, I, I think so too. Thanks for remembering something so important, Hanabi. We'll be able to keep an eye out for that now. You're coming, right? To Togetsu? I mean... Of course. Whatever deals my uncle had with them have nothing to do with me. That's and true. if they're doing something bad, we'll just take them out. I'm not sure we should that... go there looking to pick a fight. That face is like Yandere face. Figuratively speaking. Just go Yandere. <laughs> I'm glad you'll be coming with this, Hanabi. You make people feel so warm inside. 
What? Really? Like, I set the mood for the group? More like Togetsu is in the middle of snow-covered mountains. What? You're after my pyrokinesis. <laughs> oh, Commander. I guess we know our platoon's goal now. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Let's move out. Our next destination is Togetsu. Won't we, won't we tow it up the gold there? I mean, I guess we are now. Oh my god, it's ice cold here. I need cuddles! Mahanabe, especially. Oh my god. It is <gasps> Hanabi, your die showing. I should be okay with that? Just call me to rub it. Okay, girls, let's go. Hiano Mountain. It's all snow and ice. Yes, it is. Cold. Colder than I thought. Uh, ain't you off of the cover already of uh, my uh, wife over here? Damn, look at this place to go through. Jeez. Well, to exploit from here. So we can go right. I mean, I think we could. By teleporting? That's my let's give it a try, anyways. I need your help! No, we cannot. My guess need fire. Hanabi, let's go! Come on! It finally broke. Let's go, everyone. We do go this way, apparently. Enemy! My clairvoyance. Use it, Yuito. It's split. Take down the real ones and the dummies will disappear. Oh. Okay, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Are those ice statues around us? I can hit it! They're shaped weird. Apparently they're alterations of the snow and ice. They don't know what causes them, but they occur in snowy areas where others are. Huh. Okay, there was nothing over there apparently. Look at my weapon though, damn! It's like... What is that called? I'm just gonna call it Bleach. I haven't watched it like in a decade now. Okay, now let's go this way. Damn, look at look all this stuff. Okay, since so you collect from here? Looks like it. This is pretty rare. Well, this is like a battlefield. That one explodes. Don't get too close to it. Thanks for the information. If your body begins to burn with fire, it'll drain your health. So be careful. Oh, you too, huh? I thought I dodge! Yeah, I did my best! You did your best, you mean you got hurt! You, you, you seriously, wall okay, got exploded! Over. <laughs> well, fine, it's okay. This <laughs> we warmed up, I'm knowing now. Okay, let's go this way. My enemies, up ahead. Job taking the initiative. Wait, gee, what was it? Was it? Was Let me try to grab. Nice, damn. Right click. Use ice to break down them. Oh my god, I'm. Tr Why is dodging difficult in this game? Looks like the enemy dropped something rare. Oh, it exploded in front of in front of your friends. That's not good. Okay. Just heal up. Is everyone okay? Ooh, two spots. Um, let's from here. Here you go. Give me your fire. Oh, finally broke. Let's go, everyone. Hmm. Can you not? Oh, I saw your friend over here. Oh. It, it's, it's just exploded. No, 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 no. You stay. Back up! Found a weak spot. Yeah. Say slow. Yeah. Knock them down. It's down. Give it everything you've got. Okay, at least that works. That's good. Let's swing at those. Let's swing at those. You know what? Take this. And that also said it was bad attack. So lucky. No man, this is creativity. Okay, if we're good, oh, never mind. Oh, these guys seriously? Oh, they're like, 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 oh, they're
Hey, come here! Hey, hey, yeah, 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 come this way! Even though it has me here, Nabe will be okay! I was next to her. Nabe! My girl! You're hurting yourself just to sacrifice! God damn, we are hurting each other! We are hurting ourselves! Okay, we did get an upgrade. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't read this message yet. I remember, I remember talking about when you were kids, so I got hostile structures. We were so many veterans in the hospital. Yeah, you were dragging me around by hand. I always look forward to seeing you. Me too. I still bring a G on I used to. Okay, that was wholesome. Okay, so we got a bling. Um, let's see. Person that says can drain crush the but a great amount. Increase the base by 5%. We're getting stronger. Okay. Now, let's keep going this way. Damn, some obstacles. No one's here. I guess they wouldn't be. Togetsu no. is farther up the mountain. It acts like Let's a natural go. fortress for the city. We're all together, but I also look forward to spending even more time with you. Oh, yes. Oh my god, there's more here. Hold on, let's be stuck. Don't you? Oh my god. This is nothing. Seriously? Those guys are annoying. I changed the keyboard. So now when I do the up button, I just press the up arrow to be more easy enough this time. That's like annoying. Last few episodes. So I gotta press up the dash now, not left shift. Okay, it seems like it now, but that's okay by me. That's fine by me, actually. We've been walking for a long time. Wataru, how much farther to Togetsu? Quite a while. You're not even halfway there. Fuck! It really is in the middle of the mountains. Are you okay, Luca? Yes, I'll manage. These steep paths, though, they're hard for someone as small as I am. Small. Get behind me. I can at least block the wind. Thank you. I should really start training like you do. Togetsu is the home of the Faith's main what temple. Okay. Do you know what kind of religion it is? Apparently it's kind of like a cult. That's what I heard at least. With their main temple this far from civilization, it's only normal to assume they'd be ascetics in tune with nature. Let's see. Togetsu faith. Ah, here we go. It's a moon worshipping religion. One of their tenets is that the soul will return to the moon. The founder is Hitoyo Pope. The religion has a long history, but it looks like they've always lived quietly in the mountains here. You would think the fact that New Himuka allows them to govern themselves must mean that they aren't that big. I'm sure Kagero knows a lot more. He was a Togetsu believer, after all. Did he tell you anything, Sugumi? Mmm. No. Yeah, that's why I thought. Kagero... He didn't talk much about the Togetsu faith. Oh. Well, they have a unique lifestyle there, but they're not totally cut off from us. I don't think they'll turn you away at the gate. That's what former Major General Karin said. We probably won't be welcomed with open arms, but I hope they'll at least listen to us. Okay. Just a little farther to Togetsu. Okay, ladies. Now let's keep on. Yeah, we are not even halfway there. Look at the map, though. I said left because I'm going to save my game. Okay, those sitting here, though. Let me collect this. Okay. Is this one this way. Okay, so we do go this way, actually. So now, oh, enemies again. Can't these guys fuck up from us? Like, jeez, man! Got tossing oil on my face. Where do I kill? Oh, goodness. Girls, pay attention to behind us. Yeah, some second go. Ooh. Look at those noises, like the bleeding. Yeah, burn him up, burn him up. Attack from the head. 
Your ally can use your vote doing battle once you train within your bonds with them. If you apply with V, you will appear as a vision with a special attack. The stronger the bonds, the more you will call you. Ooh, press V. Okay. Oh, you snapped your finger! That was nice! Ooh, love how she did it. Love how she did that. Um, hold up a sec. Where do we go next to you? Oh, left. I mean, white. Well, it's white, but it's left on this side now. Okay. Now we just get a. I'm taking this down. Do you like my power? <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. It's pretty hard to control the fire. Oh, it finally broke. Let's go, everyone. Uh oh. This other creates dummies. We'll need to attack the real ones, so observe carefully. Let me your eyes. <laughs> the real one is over here. You're the real one. Motherfucker, you always come. You're annoying as hell. I can hit it. Can you stop coming this way? Uh, why is it two of you? No! My wife! You're budding! Okay, at least that's there. We just need to put this over here. Hold W. Oh, I turned off. Okay, now I'm gonna attack this one. Ouch. Ah! Hello, me, ouch! Watch out for electric. You won't be able to move. Come on, let me look. Yeah, for a while, I know that. It's time for brain drive. Ooh, what's this? It's coming down. Oh, yeah, that must be painful, huh? Yeah, keep attacking, keep attacking. That have pieces I could use against him. Do it again. And again. And again. Dang, so much is happening. It is getting low, so I'm not getting annoyed. I thought I was hitting him. Thank you tell against me. Ooh. Good, good, good. Hit him with this. Hit him with that. And hit him with this. Get the triple factor! Oh, that's different. I like that. Oh my goodness. Can we go up? Oh, yes, we're good. Let's go, let's go. Good. You guys good? Thanks a lot. Do it, Yuito. Yeah, you'll be good. Now going to the cave. I'll warm us up with my pyrokinesis. <sighs> Sorry, a sustained burn really tires me out. <sighs> That's enough of that. Try to spread it. Oh, I only fight all the time. Okay, don't always sell pals all the time. It's like thanks, you Yuito. You don't have to keep using it. Rare. Okay, moving on. Okay, now that we're going forward. Oh my god. Who wants this? Oh, you get some. I broke, I broke his shield. <laughs> oh shit, I killed him. Oh. oh, that was easy. What the hell? I'm here, dude. Oh my god, the winter ice. Snap your finger. Beautiful. Ooh, oh my god. Hey, you want some? Take this. W. Yeah, you're good. 
Ooh, huh? I killed the I killed the fake one. Hey, you want some? Yeah, hey, 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 look at look at this. That must be painful. Now die! Come on. those guys. Leave it to me! It sure does. Toss him with the other enemies. Bounce up. Wait. Where's the where's the wheel one? Where's the wheel one? Oh, he's already dead. Okay, we got that one done. Who next? I broke your shell, bitch! Attack! Ooh, what a wipe is down! Nice! Any more fuckers? We're done? Okay, I guess we're done. But there is something here somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is it above? Huh. Oh, never mind. Okay, let's go this way. Damn! So just, this episode is going crazy. My enemies. Take. I'm gonna ride this? Woo! Oh, go! Look at me riding this! I'm gonna ride this! La 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 la. They won't stop me and then I do this. Book the. It's my ass, no? There will be. Good looking. I have to. Okay, they're all amazing when does that. Do I have a strong about doing that? Oh shit! Now die. That was brilliant. Can I still break that do? Let's break this. Finally broke. Let's go, everyone. Oh my god, what is this? What is this? We're at as you see this? That's crazy. <laughs> Damn. Are we living under a hole this whole time? Like, who knows? <laughs> Let's keep going forward. Oh, we're getting close, aren't we? Oh my god! No bombs! Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! I'm not trying to! Stop it! Stay down! Oh my god! Another one! Stop it! Stop it! Hanabi, move! I said move! Using Lucas Why is my wife doing this? I don't want being hurt. Damn, oh like... My goodness. Move! I said move! Hey! Oh my gosh, she's getting explosion left and right! Is she dying? How is she... How is she not dying? I guess she's fire resistance. I guess these guys. Is that not a bomb? Oh my god, can you not do that today? Fuck oh, shoot. What do you want? The enemy dropped something. Drop one explosion? Stop it. We are somehow surviving this, that's crazy. Ah, the annoying. I hate it. Come on, let's go, I dare you. Oh my god. 
Is this the hoids I'm dealing with? That's the last one. Did you get even stronger? That's amazing. By bleeding? I'm so bloody with you! And you, we girl, you're not even bleeding, you're just shooting from a distance. You're crazy. Okay, we do gotta we do gotta bring him to upgrade like two times. Um let's see what's this. Can perform moves being attacked twice during the sync comp. Perceive only because of super attack. Why not? Joy. Let's use that. Um does it keep the falling dodge hold up. Chase small map is a guy after perfect dodge. Uh let's use that because why not? Okay, well out there. Oh my goodness. So is this what we're going through? Oh my goodness. Guess we are, eh? Damn, look at that building. Okay. Let me break this. Break this dude. Looks like there's a resource nearby. Yes, I'm healing. Don't have some enemies, but nope, never mind. I'm good. I'm good. I remember this building from the anime. Enter church headquarters. If you've seen the anime, I remember this building. So get to. We shouldn't be here, actually. Is this even safe? There you are. Master Yuito has arrived. Master. Welcome to Togetsu. Huh? Uh, hello. This isn't what I expected at all. Lady Hanabi Ichijo, we are forever in your uncle's debt. Yes, thank you. So, what does he do for you again, my uncle? He mainly provides us with food and medical supplies, and we give him resources in return. Resources. Okay. Thank you for this warm welcome. I didn't expect it on an unannounced visit. Uh, so, we... You are interested in our knowledge, yes? Knowledge. Huh? You are a special guest. Please come with me. It seems we're being welcomed in, though I don't know why. Same heal. You could say it's a stroke of luck, but that's a little too convenient. Yeah, too convenient. It looks like they know we're here for information. It seemed like they knew about Yuito and me too. Well, you two are just- I don't see anything or anyone strange around us, but there are many things I can't see. Oh, you are destined to be dating. It honestly doesn't feel but right How do you know? But we won't know anything unless we keep going. Let's follow those people. Yeah, I'm right, you know. Tsugumi, let us know the moment you notice anything. You too, Wataru. Got it. Copy that. Be careful. Okay. Look at all of them. It's amazing. Are these real books? So. If I could, I would like to read them all. I'll talk to you this way. Okay, so is the door is open? Oh, it does. Okay, I'm a little worried. I know what happened to the enemy series. Okay, I got questions for you. You better speak. Um, what is this place? Knowledge. Please speak to history. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Speak? Who are we supposed to speak to? Besides us. There's no one else in this room. Hmm. Oh! Maybe she means we should read the book on that desk. Um. <gasps> what is it that you seek? Kyoka? Why? Yeah, exactly. What's going on? Why does she look like that? Why does she look like that? Name, Kyoka. One relevant result. I will provide information about Kyoka Eden. Kyoka Eden is one of the design children created in Togetsu. Design what? What does this thing mean, created? Design children. I've heard that phrase before. If I'm not mistaken, they're people that were designed with specific genes for desired outer appearance and physical ability. I looked into it too. It's basically what Luca said, but it says it's just a theory and impossible to implement. Yes. It's kind of hard to believe. How could a mere religious group have such advanced technology? 
And how could Kyoka be one of them? I've never heard that she was involved with Togetsu, but this vision really does look like her. This form yeah, is not does. Kyoka Eden. It is Dr. Hitoyo Pope, the expert in neuroscience and power research, and founder of the Togetsu faith. What? So you're saying Kyoka and Dr. Pope have the same face? Yes. Kyoka Eden was created based on Dr. Pope. Interesting. Dr. Pope made Kyoka? I mean, I'm this part no. of it in Dr. Pope passed, Pope passed away nearly 2,000 years ago and is no longer with us. Oh shit, that's long ago. 2,000 years ago? The Togetsu faith is that old? Yeah. And that's the same time that New Himuka was founded. Oh, I see. So, does that mean there's information here on New Himuka from that period? The moon watches over you. Huh? It's gone. I guess it's limited. It felt like we were having a conversation with it. But I think this is just a database searching terminal with voice controls. And mm, from likely. the looks of it, this terminal doesn't have permission to answer Yuito's last question. So can we just try to sit somewhere else? It doesn't seem too dangerous. Whether or not the information is accurate is another matter. Right. Okay, let's try another terminal. Yeah, go ahead. Um, what next? Let's try this one. Let me try sitting this time. You go ahead. What is it that you seek? Where should I start? Let's see. What was New Himuka like when the country was first founded? New Himuka. I will provide information on the country's history. New Himuka was founded 2,020 years ago on Earth as a nation of Ark citizens. Ark citizens? What's that? The title of the colonists that came to Earth from the moon. The moon? What? From the moon? That's what I'm saying. Yes. In the beginning, mankind prospered on Earth. But let us take a look at what happened 3,000 years ago. Okay. Environmental changes caused by a shift in the Earth's orbit drastically decreased the human population for a period of time. Humans emigrated to the moon and built a city there to ensure the survival of their species. From there, they moved forward with renovating Earth's environment. What are you saying? After the Thousand Year Renovation Project, Earth's environment became mostly inhabitable again. So a group of colonists were dispatched from the moon. They were the Ark. I'm not sure I'm quite getting it. You're saying people moved from the Earth to the moon and then came back down to Earth? Seems like it. Wait a minute, I can't keep up. They dispatched colonists. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you mean that a group of people were selected to leave the moon? That is right. A light. If that's true, then there are still people on the moon. Right? What did you say? Huh? No, it's gone. The moon watches over you. Yeah, it has gone. <sighs> oh. What do you think? Next! I gave up trying to understand halfway through. It's so absurd that... I almost want to believe it's just a Togetsu fairy tale. There's no mention of it at all in my info network. It's probably just some religious scripture of Togetsu. If colonists founded New Himuka, then the founding father, Yakumo Sumeragi, came from the moon. Public conclusion. Um, hang on. Your ancestor came from the moon? If what this vision says is true, all the people on Earth are descended from colonists from the moon. If all that stuff about the moon is true, that means New Himuka is hiding this information. Is there some kind of reason they don't want anyone to know? I'm like high key afraid of the other terminals now. Well, I'm done sitting here. Like, fuck this jail. I feel someone watching. No one should be there, though. It appears we should remain vigilant. Yeah, yeah, good idea. 
Next. All right. Let me give it a try. Okay, this is gonna be. What is it that you seek? Continuing from before, are there still people currently living on the moon? I cannot properly answer that request. Uh oh. Why not? A secret. At this time, all communications with the moon are suspended. Suspended? Oh, the extinction belt. Yes. Due to the effects of the extinction belt, no information from the moon reaches Earth. That sells something. But with the extinction belt there, the colonists wouldn't have been able to come down from the moon. They'd be attacked by others. In space? No. When the yeah, that's what I thought. When the made their descent from the moon, the extinction belt did not exist yet. It appeared after the colonists came to Earth? Yes, that is correct. We were taught that the extinction belt was born in the spring of extinction. That happened when the nation was founded. The colonists came to Earth, then the extinction belt appeared, and New Himuka was founded. That lines up. That being said, that isn't enough proof for us to believe it. So the others appeared with the extinction belt. That is incorrect. The others suddenly started appearing long after the extinction belt appeared. What? It wasn't at the same time? But aren't others born in the extinction belt? Hmm. The moon watches over you. That limit how long it is though. Now I really do feel like the moon is watching me. Yep. The others are even more mysterious now. Gunna, I can hold you. Are you alright? Yeah, but I just can't get myself to believe all of this. How about everyone else? Yeah. I can't go along with it either, but all we can do for now is accept it and try to get more information. There's one more terminal. We need to learn all we can while we're here. Yes. Do the rest of you feel something strange? Yeah, it doesn't feel right. Got text messages too. So, what is it? The entire human planet made a move roughly 3,000 years ago. This is still a change in the Earth's environment that made it better for humans. The human could have built a car on the moon. They are the spread of thousand years working the improvement of Earth's environment for the moon. The improvement project was successful and once Earth's environment was prepared to certain extent, the moon's government dispatched a group of immigrants. Even because Sivuka was part of the art group, the Christian belt appeared after the group of on Earth. That's why in Yumika Kusum we acquired the country of New Yumika. We were taught that the spirit season when the extinction belt appeared was around the time New Yumika was established. I thought that we know is mixed with history that no one knows. We can't communicate with the moon group at all anymore because of the extinction belt. The answer about the relation between the extinction belt and the others wasn't very convenient to me. We were told that the others appeared at the same time as the extinction belt, but they say it was a while later. There is likely much we still do not know. With such a search puzzle as we go forward. Yeah, this is like a bit of information we just learned from those times. Go in the time of the hiding from us. It. Go, baby boy. What is it that you seek? Goo Gaga! Let me try being direct this time. What exactly are others? I cannot access the information you seek here. Access to Babe is necessary. Hmm? Babe? So the terminals here can't answer. That may be true, but the vision hasn't disappeared. Also, I'm sure you've all realized by now. Isn't it weird that our random questions and the permissions of the terminals all lined up? Yeah. So, you're saying Togetsu has some kind of plan here? I'm sure they do, but I don't know what it is. Hmm. The reason we came here is to gather any information we couldn't find in Suo or Seiron. Maybe they knew about that? Of course, this could all be made up. We don't know that. But what happens if we match everything we heard to Major General Fubuki's plans? Yes. Will we just tell everyone that we came from the moon? There's no proof. Yeah, we have They'll laugh us out of every town. You're right. Even if it is true, it was 2,000 years ago. That's ancient history to us now. Yeah, I think so too. 
We need information to appeal to our current... the people's current sense of danger. I will provide information on current sense of danger. Okay. Huh? Kunat Gate. The pseudo-black hole that appeared above Kunat Highway. That is called the Kunat Gate. Okay. It's talking about that localized gravitational anomaly. There actually hasn't been much news about that. What's dangerous about it? This gravitational anomaly is continuing to expand daily, and is expected to consume Earth in the near future. Shit. What? The Earth is gonna be swallowed by the Kunad Gate? The Kunad Gate is expected to expand in response to the power of Yuito Sumeragi. Oh yeah, that's right. It is likely that the destruction of Earth is unavoidable. Use the anime? Why is it mentioning Yuito? The destruction of Earth. And you're saying it's Yuito's fault? That's ridiculous. It is. But there is nothing to fear. All will be saved if you trust in the teachings of Togetsu. Hang on. What about my power? What does the Kunad Gate have to do with me? I think it's Bui, is it? The Kunad Gate is a trivial problem. The correction of the incorrect universe is essential to create the true future. Souls return to Mother Moon. The moon watches over you. Oh my god. Gone. Hey! Don't let what it said bother you. It was probably just trying to scare us. Maybe. The Kunad Gate. I did indeed hear that hole is pulling in things around it. So, it's saying the hole will get bigger and swallow the earth? That's what it means. No, it's dangerous to take that at face value. Yuito, I know hearing your own name shocked you, but this might be a trap. We can't let ourselves be misled. Yeah, it doesn't feel true. Mm -mm. But if what they're saying is true, could that be the reason why Kasane tried to kill me? No, no, no. Little spoil. You don't need to kill him just to stop the portal thing that's happening right now. Are you okay? Yeah. Sorry, I'm fine. No, you're not! There isn't any hug. proof. Banabe. But it might be best for me to talk to Kasane, just to make sure. But if I find out that it is indeed true, and the Kunat Gate is linked to my power in some way, what am I gonna do? Okay, we're done checking the terminals. But I wonder what this babe, the last terminal mentioned is. Yeah, I wonder what it meant by that. I see you seek information on Babe. Mm-hmm. Uh, Is that a woman? You scared me. Oh my god, if you scare us, you know what we're doing? You can connect SAS anytime. Uh, you can scare us. Oh, wait, so if I press 2? Oh, never mind. No, I just talk to you. Please proceed through the door in front of you. Babe awaits. Why's it named that? It's kind of funny. Sorry, but what is Babe? The city computer managing Togetsu. Similar to Arahabaki and Suo. They have something like that? This way, please. This is suspicious. No matter how you look at it. It's like yes, yes, it's got. Outsiders would in well, no the way ass. be allowed access to a system on the level of Arahabaki. And you gotta wonder. Why would such a small religious group need a computer like that, too? Leaving now is not an option for us. Let's just see what this babe terminal thing is. There's a huge room on the other side of that door. I can see something. It appears to be a terminal. Mm -hmm. Be careful. Our communications might get cut off. Copy. We'll get out right away if things look bad. If it lets you out... It must be Babe. We don't know what might happen. Let's stay on our toes. Oh my shit! What the fuck is all this? It's like I have a minecart block right here. It's still optional. Is this the Babe terminal? Yes. This way, Master Yuito. Babe will answer all of your questions. I'm sure you are having difficulty believing all you learned here today. 
Yes. That doubt will turn to belief if you speak with Babe. Please trust in the teachings. The moon is always watching over you. You're always saying that. Watcher, do you copy? Okay, yes. <sighs> no good. This room is cut off from Synet. Let's get the information we need and get out quickly. We're too vulnerable here. Mm hmm Yeah. Let's start up the terminal for now. Be careful. Hold my hand in, Abby. Just in case. Oh, I guess there's no vision of Dr. Pope this time. How do we get information out of this? This feels like an SAS. Mm hmm It is. Oh what no. Is... I can't my body hey, Fuck 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 Stop What you're doing is too dangerous Kasane Stop the connection now Can you hear me Yuito? Okay yes Kasane The connection <sighs> Babe is trying to take over my brain Don't stop me that you idiot Sanabe Yuito <laughs> Yuito! Yeah, yeah, thanks. <sighs> Shit is trying to destroy. Are you okay? <sighs> what just happened? It seems like they were trying to hijack my brain. Thanks for disconnecting me. We have to stop. That believer was acting strange. They might have been after Yuito's brain from the very beginning. Luckily enough, Yuito's all right. Let's give up on the info and get the hell out of here. Yeah. But I wonder if they'll just let us leave. Yuito, I forced myself in because I was nearby. Kasane! You're in Togetsu too? Uh, wait. Before that, thanks for saving me. Instead of thanking me, why don't you help me? Arashi and the others have been captured. What? They have? They're being held in some room, but I don't know which one. Are you in Babe's terminal? I want you to try to unlock all the doors in Togetsu from there. Okay, I'll try. What are they doing in Togetsu? No, I don't have time to think about that now. Hmm. Uh. Babe is the computer that controls all of Togetsu, right? Maybe it can unlock all of the doors. Why do you ask all of a sudden? Kasane forced a brain talk connection with me. She said Arashi and the others are locked in a room somewhere. What? Kasane's in Togetsu? Yeah, I know. Confusing, right? Is she after you again? No, I only realized I was in danger because she warned me. She wouldn't have helped me if she was planning to kill me. Alright. It's unlikely that Kasane or her platoon are working with Togetsu. So something must have happened to them. Luka? We can't let Yuito be taken over. Don't worry. It looks like I can operate it normally. Those baby hands of Helping yours. The Kasane platoon is all well and good. But we have to make a plan to get ourselves out of here. Right. If I just unlock this... <laughs> That's to be expected. But this should let them escape as well. Thanks, Luca. Everyone, let's get out of here. Okay, now we're gonna run. Uh-oh, ladies! We're gonna fight some enemies, don't we? That's fine. Yep, door's open. Uh, oh, running! And I'm connected. Is everyone alright? We're okay, but we might be in trouble. We need to get out of here. Yep, we're running! Running! Hanabe, you behind me? Yes, you are. Well, next to me. I'm like, fuck oh, you guys! Coming. Stay on your toes! Of course they're gonna find us. Oh, look at my blade! I just love how they show our weapons. All of us as weapons. Did she come with Kyoka? No, wait, this is... Uh, 
That's not her. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's not them, but you're fine, you're fine. Just gonna one through them. Okay, yeah, keep going. What was it that just attacked us? They look just like Kasane and Kyoka. Design children. So it's not just Kyoka. Kasane is one of Togetsu's design children too? Can you think of another reason they'd have the same face? Um, Doctor? Enemies approaching at four o'clock. Reinforcements, maybe. There's no time to talk. Just focus on getting out of there. Yeah, I gotta, you gotta, dude. Am I just running out of here? I know from the enemy series we're gonna get stopped by those guys. As in our friends? Okay, oh, what's over here? Is it the same stuff or is it just. Yeah, they're sitting in here. Oh, I can't collect anymore. It seems I'm out of space now, apparently. Alright, keep on running to this way. We'll be fine, though, right? Yep, there are enemies nearby here. Oh my god, why? Oh my god, bombs! I wasn't trying to get close to it. It was funny, you get XP to Yeah. Does that mean that all the Togetsu followers are design children? Yeah, look at all those buildings you walk past to from that place over there. It is that big. Damn. It's kind of concerning too at the same time. Let me keep running. Oh, enemies. Oh, I could ride this. With me! We. Oh. Yeah, excuse me. Excuse me. Looks like the enemy dropped something rare. Keep on going, keep on going, riding, riding. Woohoo! Okay, it's looking right now, so. Take this, you bitch! This is pretty rare. Aha, uh -huh, that must hurt. Now die! Oh my goodness! Okay, are we out yet? <laughs> Just keep going. Enemies, I'm guessing. Doesn't look like anyone's following us. <laughs> Maybe they gave up. I wouldn't say that. Looks like it, but stay on your guard. Yeah, stay on your guard. I wonder if Kasane's team got out all right. Whoa, other reading closing in. It's a big one. Enemy? Dead ahead. <laughs> Turn around, dude. It's big. It's frozen! Is that what we're dealing with? That's a big hole to keep peers inside if you're gonna masturbate to it. Don't do it, people, that's disgusting. Now there are others? Fuck, fuck, fuck! Are you okay? <laughs> Not now. Hold me! No. There's no way I can drink that. Duh. I'm fine. I can fight. I think you had no choice, dude, after. A while. Come on. And other appeared I know. It's so big and fat. It's so big. That ice is like armor. But my power might be able to melt it. Yeah, thanks for information. I mean it's pretty obvious. Oh, it's already melted. So we'll okay. Let's keep attacking. I die, dodge. Keep on, Abe. Yeah, you miss. Good swing. Okay, I dodge. That's good. What the hell is he going? I didn't dodge. Oh! He dig underneath. What the fuck he go? Move, go! Damage to outer shell confirmed. Keep going and break. Yeah, fire! Shell 
Break him first. Put the pressure on. Yeah, this is gonna take a while actually. Just keep a swing on it. Soak by my cum? Oh my god, time to die. Take some jelly. I'm inside already. His back? Oh, okay. At least I found it. Where was it? Trying to dodge. Oh! Hey! This is like a Dark Souls boss fight I'm dealing with. Go to the back, go to the back, go to the back. Attack the back! Why isn't Cali cool? Why is Cali like Cali like in Holy Life? Don't say it twice, go! Damn. I'm trying to hit them. Oh, I missed. I'm trying to dodge. Why? Oh my god, what am I doing? Hey! Go on! Yeah, he's cooked. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hit the back. No, no, he's going back in. Eat! I can still fight. Back to fire. Yeah, let's spin it. Nice! Take him down. The power of walks. Not even dead yet. He's about to die. Yeah, look at his HP. He's going down. What the hell? You put some fireball on me? Oh, you missed. Oh, he's dead. Toss some walks. Oh, that's different. Crush him. Ooh, that's done. Target eliminated. And everyone's safe. How's your head? Don't strain yourself. I'm better now. Sorry I made you worry. Yuito, can you and your platoon hear me? Kasane! Oh, I'm glad you're okay. Are you near us? Yes. But we're closer to Dogetsu than you, and we're still running. Let me make a suggestion. You learned something in there, right? Why don't we exchange intel? And... we have a lot to talk about. And here I was thinking she wouldn't want to talk. Yeah, strange, right? Okay. I was thinking the same thing. Good. That settles it. Could be a trap. We'll be waiting halfway up Hiano Mountain. Roger that. See you then. Sit down, everyone. Sorry. I should have checked with you guys first. You're the one Kasane is after. If that's what you want to do, I don't mind. But can you trust her? For now. I told you that she saved me in Togetsu. For now. I think she had a reason for trying to kill me. So I want to talk to her. What are you going to do if she doesn't want to talk and just attacks you? Well then, fight. Then I'll fight. Yeah. Okay. If you say so, Commander. Let's get down the mountain for now. If I'm right about how she sounded, we should be able to talk. Hmm. So now we're gonna... I'm a little worried about meeting up with Kasane. I mean, I hope you can won. talk to her, but... I'm not just going along blindly, but it was your decision. I want to respect that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, we got my hand, girl, if you want to. Just be safe and sorry. 
If you do attack, then fuck it. Just fire it out then, I guess. Yeah. Might be a way to lure us to think he'll be okay, but no, no. Just follow Lee for now. See how this goes. They're here. It's all of Kasane Platoon. Will the chest go? Hey! Looks like all of you made it out okay. I was able to rescue them thanks to your help. I should be thanking you. I would have been taken over by Babe if you hadn't been there. Hey, Kasane. You're not going to try and kill Yuito again, are you? This is my husband! I already told you. Future she husband! She was the one that saved me. I know. But I want to hear her say it. You have all the right in the world to doubt me. In fact, I don't blame you for it either. Yes, I think it's best to talk for now. We should talk and find a better solution, rather than just forging ahead on assumptions. Exactly! It took me too long to come to this decision, and I apologize for that. Something's different about you. Can you tell me what happened? Why did you try to kill me? I know this will sound ridiculous, but please hear me out. Future you, future you. I tried you. to kill you because I was asked to. By you. Yeah, future you. Fifty years in the future. Me? Fifty years in the future? What are you talking about? I completely understand how you feel. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, there's no way I would have believed it either. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when Captain Seto died on the Kunod Highway? And we saw that strange sight? Yes. My time travel power, the red strings, activated. Then we jumped 50 years into the future. What? You went to the future? Red strings. That's right. You said you have dreams about those. It wasn't a dream. I have the ability to travel through time. A power called red strings. The scary. And Yuito. Apparently you have the same power as well. Yeah, linked together. What? I know we both use psychokinesis, but that's not what you're saying. It seems you understand these red strings a lot better than the rest of us. Yes. Just where did you get that knowledge? Was that from the future too? Yes, it was. We saw Yuito in the future. He told me quite a lot. He also asked you to kill me. Right. I'll tell you everything I learned in the future. That should answer everyone's questions. Okay. Who should I ask first? Uh, wait. Why do I ask her first? Oh, wait. We're gonna talk to anyone one by one. I wanna go with the dudes and then the ladies last. That's not the asshole. Because I hate you. You're an asshole, you know that? And my girl's right here watching you in the corner? Yeah, she's getting ready to stuff your ass. In that world, the Kunad Gate was much bigger than it currently is here in our time. The end of the world. That's what it looked like. It seems that in that future, the gate had expanded so much that nothing could be done to stop it. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, there's one down. No, let's talk to you next. At first, none of us could believe what we had heard in the future. It was just too hard to swallow. We got some news in Ceyron, then a bunch of stuff happened, and now we can pretty much believe it. But I have to admit, it's gotta be hard to believe just hearing it for the first time. Yeah, we don't want to though. Let's talk to the large booba lady who likes to check on me for some reason. It was when Kasane used the red strings that the Kunod gate opened. But That's when true. the power activated, it resonated with yours, Yuito. That's why the gate won't close. On top yeah, of I that, remember that from the anime. The gate seems to be slowly expanding. And looking at the news we got from Ceyron, it more or less matches up. Okay, let's talk to the chainsaw lady. The thing that appears when the red strings are used is like a device to time travel. That's apparently what the Kunad gate is. Normally, it appears only for an instant and disappears immediately, but this time it didn't go away. Left open like that, the gate will eventually swallow the world. It was really bad 50 years in the future. Ouch. All right, now talk to Kasane. The power we both have is actually gravikinesis. It just looks like psychokinesis. When that gravikinesis becomes strong enough to travel through space and time, it's called red strings. I had no idea about that either. Okay. The Kunan Gate will disappear if Yuito dies. That's what future Yuito said. That just can't be true. Come on, has been another solution. It was already too late in the future, which is why he asked me that favor. 
He wanted me to kill you in the past, so the Kunad Gate could be eliminated before it got too large. So my power affected the Kunad Gate? I've had a bad feeling since listening to that vision in Togetsu. I can't believe I was right. So you knew? Yeah. I didn't want to believe it, but it's true. So... the me in the future... I guess I just wasn't able to end it myself. How lame. That's not true. The you in that time was great. And you right now is special too. <laughs> I have to admit, I never thought you'd be complimenting me. <laughs> Thanks. That makes me feel a little better. I'm proud I have the same power as you. That reminds me. How is your brain doing? Has it settled down at all? Yeah, it's fine. I'm getting by. I told you not to worry. All right. We should exchange intel. A light? And first and foremost, we got some questions. Especially about Kyoka. Yes, of course you would. Kyoka, are you one of the design children from Togetsu? Yes. I'm a clone made in Togetsu. My genes come from the founder of the Togetsu faith, Dr. Hitoyo Pope. The city is filled with chosen psionics, designed from the same genetic data as me. We are the children of Togetsu. I see. I guess that's why Kyoka and Dr. Pope look the same. We were shocked when we saw Dr. Pope's vision in the Togetsu facility. I hate to ask this, but if she was one of the Togetsu followers... Yes, Kyoka was a spy. She was spying on Kasane. But that's not the case anymore. She decided to live as one of us. I vouch for Kyoka. She's definitely not our enemy. Hmm? You yeah, sure? I believe you. I watched the enemy season. What? That was fast. The way Kasane looks at Kyoka is proof enough. Though, that's kind of an embarrassing way to put it. Honestly, I don't know much about Kyoka, so I can't really make this decision myself. But I do know Kasane. I wanted to talk to her to decide what to do, and I thought it was best to trust her. If I trust Kasane, then I trust the people she does. The Alex applies. Wait, I am... Um... There's no need to get so riled up. You know very well this is the kind of person Yuito is. Yeah, I just remembered how stupid he is. Lily! Hey, Kasane. If Kyoka is one of the design children, does that mean you are too? Hmm. What? What are you talking about? In Togetsu, we saw design children with the same face as Kasane's. Yes, I probably am. That's a weird way to say it. This is the first I've heard of this. Care to extrapolate? I remembered a little from when I was a child in Togetsu. I remembered Mother. From what I recall, I was told I was one of the design children. It only just came back to me, so it doesn't feel real. That's why I said it like that. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. It must be a painful memory for you. You look so sad. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. You're very kind, Hanabi. But of course you should have asked. Don't worry about it. And thank you. You're so nice to her, Kasane. Maybe too nice. Really? I wasn't trying to be. Anyway, is there anything else you wanted to ask about? Yeah, there is. If you know anything about humans coming from the moon, I'm hoping you can tell me more about it. Huh? D did you hit your head or something? Oh, so you guys don't know about this? Wait, what he said is true? I yes. All right, I guess we should explain what we've been told. Yeah, they didn't know. We learned all of this after looking through Togetsu's archive, so I honestly don't know if we should really believe all of it. But if you were a Togetsu spy, Kyoka, you would know if this is true or not. Yes, that's indeed what we were taught, but if that was also part of the conspiracy, then... Actually, no. It's true. It's all for real. 
What do you mean, Kagura? He's been up there. Sugumi, don't look at me like that. I can't stand it when you look at me like that. Kagura, there's a lot I want to ask you. But for now, tell us about history as Togetsu sees it. Do all Togetsu believers know this? Right, about that. The faith. That's all a lie. Just a way to get Togetsu independence. Besides, the place is mostly made up of design children. I must say, it didn't look like a religious establishment to me. So does that mean that you are one of the design children as well, Kagero? Uh, no. Nope. Now, now, I said mostly, didn't I? I'm a colonist from the moon. Yeah, see? Make it real. Even if there actually were colonists from the moon, that would have been 2,000 years ago. Cold sleep. Yes, exactly. A few dozen colonists are being kept in cold sleep in a Togetsu facility. They wake us up in turns to check on the state of the Earth, and then we're supposed to contact the moon. Uh, hold on. Does that mean you're from the same generation as Yakumo? Yes. Look, I don't expect you to believe me right away or anything, but it's the truth. The people of New Himuka wanted to live on Earth, so those that wanted to return to the moon made Togetsu. Togetsu doesn't care about New Himuka or Seiron. They're an egotistical lot that wants to return to the moon instead of living on this crappy, other-filled planet. But as long as the extinction belt is there, they can't go back. Not only that, there's news that others are attacking the moon too. So they got to thinking, what can they do to save their homeland and escape Earth? They need to make it so the colonization never even happened in the first place. The red strings. The time travel power. I see. They want to go back in time and negate it all from ever happening. But wouldn't humanity eventually attempt to colonize Earth again and repeat this history? To be precise, the plan is to only take the Moon and Earth back in time with a few exceptions. Is that even possible? Taking only a portion of the universe back in time? They believe the Red Strings can do it. They plan to leave records of this timeline's history in the areas that were not taken back in time. So future generations won't attempt to colonize Earth again. Hang on. I'm getting confused. That's so outrageous. I don't know how to take it all in. Whether you want to believe it or not, Togetsu actually managed to create the Red Strings to carry out their plan. Kasane is the result of that. Although, it's pretty strange how Yuito has a similar power. Mm -hmm. Let's suppose everything he said is true. That means this isn't really the time to be squabbling over New Himuka or Seiron. If Togetsu were to get what they're after, then none of us would have ever existed. No, that's not right. We can't let them succeed. We're all here, trying to survive. Kagero, why would someone at the center of Togetsu's plan reveal all this to us? Can we assume that you are planning to abandon them as well? Ruining their plan is something I've been working towards since the beginning. That's why I joined them, to get in the way. That sounds great and all, but how are we supposed to believe you? You don't have to. If you've got a problem with me, I'll walk. But whatever happens, I'm not going to sit back and let them get away with erasing this history. I left my family on the moon. I won't let them take her existence, too. Kagero means it. I can tell. It's been a long time since I've seen him like this. So please, trust him. Sugumi. Sugumi knows Kagero best. I think we can trust her judgment. Okay. Besides, I have a feeling you trust him already. Yeah. If Sugumi trusts him, then I trust him too. And if Yuito does, then I do too. Of course, I'll kill him if he betrays us. Uh. I mean, yeah, sure. You can do that. <laughs> of course. I keep making fun of them for being naive, but that's what ends up saving me. If we're going to believe Kagero, then we have to believe all of the history about the colonists from the moon, too. 
Mm -hmm. And then figure out what we can do, knowing that. Yeah, like a plan. We're stopping Togetsu's plan. That's all we can do. But it's too much for us to handle alone. We need someone who can move nations. Are you going to ask New Himuka for help? We're fugitives there. Even so, we have to. That doesn't mean I forgive them for the things they're doing, though. If they know what Togetsu is trying to do, they might realize their terrible actions are all in vain. What if we asked Seiron for help? If they know about the Togetsu threat, they might realize that New Himuka isn't who they should be fighting. I wonder. As far as I know, both New Himuka and Seiron should have a clear understanding about the Moon colonists and their history. On top of that, they're both scheming to survive. Mm -hmm. At least it's better than nothing. I don't want to just sit here and wait to be erased. Indeed. So, we should split up and give it a shot? Yes, let's do that. Yuito, you go to New Himuka. And you go try explaining things to Seiron. Now we're finally after the same thing. That's let's good. Let's do our best. Oh my goodness, so much has happened today. I didn't think we'd find out so much in Togetsu. This is all so unexpected. Oh yes, all I'm next to my girl. To Togetsu, but it felt like such a long journey. Good work, everyone. That was a lot to take in. It's a bit difficult to accept it all. But I'm glad we know now. The world we normally see is so small. But our horizons have expanded. And now it's clear that there's another world out there. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we're on better terms with Kasane, too. That's one less thing to worry about. Hey, everyone. About the Kunad Gate. Yes? How your power is affecting it? Oh, Haruka let me see Seiron's investigation into it, but the results were the same. At least we know it really is, well, getting bigger. What if Yuito doesn't use his power? If he avoids combat, for instance? No. I looked at the Kunad Gate investigation papers as well. At this point, I couldn't really find a link between Yuito's specific actions and the gate's expansion. What? So it doesn't have anything to do with Yuito? No. You could say that just the existence of his power is affecting it. It's pretty much safe to assume that the gate will continue to expand as long as Yuito lives. That's fucked up. Right. I am sorry for how that sounded, but it's probably best that you know since it does concern you. No, I'm glad you told me. Nothing will change if I try to ignore it. If it's like you say, then I don't need to worry about staying out of fights, do I? We do not know all the details about the Kunat Gate, but I think that is correct. What are you thinking, Yuito? I want to ask you all a favor. Okay. What is it? After hearing all that in Togetsu, I'd be lying if I said I didn't think that killing me was the only option for us now. But there are still things I need to do. Things I need to learn. We can never say for certain that there is no other way unless we search for one. That's what I'm thinking. Just like we didn't know about the moon until we went to Togetsu, there might be a way to stop the gate that we don't know about yet. I'm sure Kasane had the same idea. And that's why she stopped trying to kill me. That's good, so, though. I want you to help me think of a way to get rid of the Kunad Gate. <laughs> you had me a little anxious for a moment. Of course we'll help you. Gemma's right. That was the plan all along. Don't forget about my info network. I'll find out even the most secret information. This isn't just your problem. No matter what's going on with the world, you have to remember, we're a team. There has to be a way. And I know we'll find it if we look together. We have to save both you and the whole world. You guys... I thought you'd say that, but I guess I was a little worried. So... Thank you. Yeah. Oh my god, that's over. Humans came from the moon. And the Earth is going extinct. It's so much at once that my head is spinning. We have to understand it all, though, so we can keep moving forward. Uh-huh. 
Oh my god, what you doing? I mean, <laughs> put that on my ass. Oh, well, I'm gonna do. Like, subscribe, I'll see you the side, you know.